Hi there, welcome to PP POE tutorial. In this video, we will learn overview of PPVE, explain the various stages, some packet format, implementation details and option using Wireshark. Assuming you have already captured Wireshark and taken TCP dump of uh, PPP session. So the first step what we'll do, we'll filter all the PP POED packets. So in filter, we'll type PPPOE and we can see it's OE, OD and ES. So based on the type of device. So in this case, I have EUD. Click on apply. So just small overview of PPPOE. PPPOE means PPP over Ethernet and it is configured as point to point connection between two Ethernet ports. PPP over Ethernet provide the ability to connect a network of host over simple bridging access device to a remote access connector. So each PPP has two distinct stage. The first stage is called uh, discovery stage where you can see the packet on discovery, discovery, discovery. The second stage is called PPP session stage. It's purely link layer protocol. So this is the session stage. There you can see PPP LCP happening over session. So we just go to the Ethernet payload. What does this mean? So if you see the payload of Ethernet, we can see we have destination address. We have six octet destination address one, two, three, four, five, six. Source source address also six octet. Ethernet type and the payload. Payload is the PPP over Ethernet discovery and also a checksum. So this is the Ethernet payload of the PPP. So if you see in the payload section, we have the version information, we have the type information, the code information, session ID, length and the tags. So we'll start what is the discovery stage in uh, PPP OED. Assuming uh, this is the diagram of discovery stage. Assuming you are the host of CCC05 with the MAC address of uh, CCC05. So what you will do, you will broadcast. You will send a PADI packet. The host will send the PADI packet PADI with the destination address will be the address of the broadcast address. And in the code field, the value will set as hexameter value of 09 and session ID will be 00, hexameter value. So in this case, the destination will be the broadcast address, all F. So uh, the, this, the second step, the destination will respond with the discovery offer packet, where the destination address will change with the unicast address of the host and code field will change to 7. And in this case, we know the destination. What is the destination address? It will be the host of the peer. And session ID will remain 000. The host should reply with the active discovery request with the PADR packet. With the destination address will be unicast Ethernet. Code field will be changed to 19. Session ID will be 0. And then come the destination the destination will require the session confirmation. In this case, the PPP session will start flowing and the code field will be changed to 65. Session ID will be the unique value and will be maintained across the PPP session. If we go to the PADI packet, we can see the, the hexadecimal value is 9. Session ID is 0 and we have the tags of what is the unique host. Then the we can see the source to destination it is in broadcasted and then the server to the client. So it it have got reply from the 06 address to the host address. So in this case uh, this tag information will be filled up. Session ID will remain uh, empty uh, 00 the code code will be 07. A request will be sent from the source to destination 
and in this case the session information will remain zero and with the all the required tags will be filled corn cookie and finally the session confirmation will happen in this case the cookie the session id is set session confirmation so after doing this the ppp session the first stage the second stage will start will come ppp session stage when this uh, when we got the session confirmation so this is the second stage all the ppp related flow is happening here okay so you can see till when the session confirmation is happen the ppp session stage is occurring ppp session information is already covered in uh, ppp protocol video thanks for watching if you have any question do let me know i will try to answer over the comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you